word up. So I'm going to make this really quick. We'll, we'll see where we go with it. Uh, first and foremost, once again, this is UV to the P. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, most, if not all of my subscribers, is, is subscribed to this cool cat. So to start things off, uh, I haven't watched very much of this video yet, but he touched upon some things and I'm like, hey, shit, <laughs> maybe I can spin some stuff on, on and off, you know, from that. But uh, what is today? The So it would be the 23rd of May that I experienced uh, these things. <clears throat> Started off in a very high vibration. The more and more I had interactions with uh, the people in my surroundings, uh, the more my energy got dragged down lower and lower and you know it reached that tipping point where it was like you know if this is going to keep compiling you know one person after the other then it's going to start to have like a negative effect and unfortunately that happened uh it was very interesting though it is very i learned a lot from it and I was in a state to where, because I was vibing so high, <laughs> those terms, because I was in such a state in the beginning, a state of awareness and in a state of flow, truly, within just as much as without, because I was in such a pristine state of flow within my outer surroundings were able to flow uh, more easily so I was able to navigate for the first I don't know how many people and and not uh, not be like a, a di direct mirror with with what they were projecting because today it's <laughs> just fucking bizarre man uh, people were projecting really dark energies, and they were doing so. Um, I was in a state where I was able to see, you know, uh, the the misdirection, the misconception, and and so I wasn't I wasn't necessarily getting caught up in the emotions, but what well, what became very frustrating was that. People did not want to see what they were doing, which was which was the initial error, or I guess you could say the they erred on the side of ignorance um, on their part, which was a, a misconception of um, some kind of a detail. So instead of owning up to their misconceptions, they wanted to project onto others and, and blame others that it was their fault why they had this misconception in the first place. So having that happen over and over and over, eventually, uh, my, well, it was very interesting because my body would just eat it and um, I, I became very hot in the sense that my body was kind of sucking it out of them and there was a few times to where this happened with people and they eventually realized that they were in the wrong and they just broke down they they fucking broke down but I whatever reason like my essence at the time served as a 
a focal point and it, it absorbed all this shit and you can only absorb so much before it starts to seep in and you're not uh, transmuting it properly or navigating it properly and uh, so you have to realize like the level how much you're accepting in and burning through because I usually I, I burn through quite a bit of, of ignorance and bullshit and I don't let it seep in whenever it's compiled and it's compacted in days like today which uh, it's just obvious to people like uh, I don't know there there's some of us out here who who uh, begin to recognize whenever things are being compiled on purpose you could say uh, we are vibing so high that something has noticed and doesn't like it so it will use and utilize the people in our immediate surroundings to bring us down and if that doesn't work they amp it up a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more So yeah, it, it was a lovely fucking day, and uh, what came out of it was, well first of all, like it, it empowered me in knowing that I have uh, kind of, I don't want to say progressed, but done enough work to where I can handle a certain level of not just ignorance, not just willful willful ignorance, but projected ignorance and projected hatred to where I don't have to be a direct mirror and reflect that and I don't have to let allow as much of that in as say when I was younger because of and this is also a big thing is to realize <clears throat> why we are in this current state that we are in and our youth has a lot to do with that our upbringing our parents play such a huge role no matter what uh, kind of role they have, even if it's an absent role, it's still huge. So yeah, today was uh, fucking nuts. Uh, betrayal, betrayal with people that just yes, just the previous day, like I uh, went out of my way to. hook them up, so to say, or make them feel good. And it was probably for that reason that they they literally outed themselves today. And uh, my response literally was, I, I really wish you wouldn't have told me that because you definitely could have kept doing what you were doing if you didn't tell anyone. But you just told on yourself. You just outed yourself. So now you just probably lost your job. But more importantly than that, you lost your, the respect of everyone around you. You outed yourself for what you decided to engage with, which was complete and utter selfishness in the worst possible way. And going all out in defending that illusion, your own disillusionment, and choosing to see things as right or wrong, oh no, I'm always right, and this is why, instead of, this is, look objectively, this is the situation, this is what is occurring, do you think this is right? Oh well, I have all these excuses and reasons why I'm right, no, 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 but you're not looking objectively. 
and as my other experiences you know showed me once the person finally is able to look objectively they break down and they realize just how wrong they were unfortunately we're living in a world right now where uh, these experiences don't really stick with these kinds of people because of the life that they are living and the uh, fleetingness of true experience and true emotion purity in this so they refuse to learn from their mistakes and they are, are doomed to repeat them over and over and that's essentially you know a collective thing as well that we're dealing but of course also if it's not already painfully obvious we're, we're being encouraged and drawn towards that path as that as a collective of ignorance disillusionment being offended and triggered and choosing a side instead of seeing things as from all angles choosing to see multiple perspectives and people's sides of how they choose to experience things and then going from there and finding a middle ground hopefully eventually going towards truth but that's becoming more and more difficult to do nowadays Like, I'm realizing slowly by, like, minute by minute that, that the self-resentment that people hold, that the people are, like, able to stand each other less and less. They're becoming more self-hating and, and hating each other more and more. And it seems like nobody can really get along with each other for more than five minutes. Nobody can stand each other for too long. Um, in fact, they will run to their, like, couples will go back to their phone because, um, the human interaction is so dull and so boring and how you couldn't blame them because it is that boring because their lives are that boring. This is true, but also they are unwilling to face up and own up to what they are doing, to the fact of the matter, what's really going on. And so true healing can never occur whenever you run away from the truth. Realize this, people. But also, people treat each other as drugs nowadays. They, they are addicted to the highs of arguing, engaging, like bickering and uh, intense, you know, highs, but then also intense lows and then also intense makeups. And they get addicted to this cycle. So people have successfully made almost everything in their experience a quote-unquote drug or an addiction and once again we have been led into this we have been encouraged uh, as, a, as a subtle uh, suggestion or influence we have been encouraged into doing this slowly but surely taught to live like this and I'm not for sure if I'm going to play what uh, Yuvrash talked about with the, uh, I think he said millennials, but essentially he was talking about how people of a younger age are like the almost perfected test subjects with this uh, indoctrination system. And from what I have personally experienced, this is... Uh, so dead on that 
it is really fucking scary. It is really fucking scary to see these younger people uh, with with a world of potential, but then they choose to go the route that they do, or hold on to belief to belief systems and structures that they've been taught, or that their friends are into. It's uh, it's quite insane it's it's very discouraging uh less and less younger people are able to really like have one-on-one -on -one communications uh be able to really relate <sighs> to not feel like they are they have a right to be triggered or offended like this has reached reached a point to where these younger people they will just flat out say, oh my god, I'm triggered. Oh my god, I'm so offended. I'm so triggered right now. And I, I don't know how to respond whenever I'm around that. It's, I don't know. I'll do what I can with, with certain individuals, but there's, you know, there's only so much <laughs> one person can do in regards to showing someone or reminding someone what is already within them, what has always been within them, but because they've been so indoctrinated into blocking the truth off what's inside themselves, they don't respond to a genuine connection uh, in kind. They respond with awkward uh, movements and awkward uh, sayings and awkward little quirks that that shows that they're uncomfortable with truth and to be honest uh it's it's very fucking disgusting and, and it enrages me a little bit that we are at this point that has it has gotten this bad But there are also, you know, some gems, some uh, rare rarities within this, these kind of groups to where they they are able to see how fucked up shit is, and they they have not succumbed to giving in to the corruption within themselves on like a total degree. So. When I come upon those people, like, mm, like I'm able to really light them up. We're, we're both able to shine and bounce that energy back and forth. And, and that's a very beautiful thing. It's a very encouraging thing. That in hopes that, you know, that kind of engagement and awareness keeps spreading uh, across the people that are still able to open up and feel and not <sighs> discourage themselves from feeling truth and, and engaging that. meaningless and devoid and devoid of any sort of purpose or actual direction there's no there's no discipline it's just and there's no body centric way of living it's just um you know when's the next content aggregation on my phone coming out you know when's the next fucking game of thrones episode coming out and i see this out of experience because i'm not exempt from this i am weaning myself off of this uh, basically this technological trap of and it's like, it's okay that we're not like fucking stoic monks in the Himalayas. It's fine. It was not. Okay. And that's kind of the part where I wanted to make this. Real quick. Uh, I might let him go ahead and talk a little bit more. 
But man, I also want to just fucking throw out real quick. Man, like, you, Raj, your eyes are so fucking white. Like, I, I fucking love it. Because I love the clarity, dude. And, like, you got some big whites. And I fucking love it. But, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and not let him talk a little bit more. Ooh, I just noticed that fucking uh, Celtic spiral there in the bottom right corner. Hell yeah. Fucking Celts. Hell yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let him talk a little bit more before I really go into this. But, uh, what he just said was, you know, it's okay that we're not, like, super stoic and, like, the monks. And, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say, like, no, it's not okay. It's not fucking okay that we are in the state that we are in. And that's not what he's saying. Like, that's, I, I understand where, where he's coming from. I, I really do. And I'm not trying to twist anyone anyone's words up. Like I don't, I don't like to do that. And I really despise whenever whenever other people do that. Uh, onto, of course, myself, but onto others as well. Like it really uh, bugs me whenever someone goes out of their way to <sighs> encourage a disillusionment. But like most people operate in this mode, unfortunately, nowadays. But what I wanted to throw in, my two cents here, is our, my, my six cents, is that uh, our natural state is supposed to be this kind of state where we are in a, not, not necessarily a monk mode, but a super perceptive mode to where all of our senses are super aware and active and engaged and uh, I will go ahead and say that this has nothing to do with monks. It, it really doesn't. Um, at first, you know, it's kind of like uh, Star Wars and the Jedi's. Like this, this is exactly how it was. How it, like that's more real than what you, you know, probably will ever ever come to understand or understand. It's just uh, how how real the Star Wars movies are. How real a lot of the things are that were presented as a science fiction but really it's just our past that we are led to believe that you know oh it's our it's really just our future where we're headed yeah but uh so go ahead and play a little bit more of this before i go into from what i want to say not a big deal that we're not there yet though we're not like you know master yogis who are doing crazy fucking yoga positions right away and you know flying and, and all that shit it's fine you know it's not a big deal you know um it it proves a point that this kundalini awakening wasn't meant for just the monks in some monastery somewhere you know god knows where they are you know it's not just that I probably won't play any more of this um, for this video, but I will continue to watch this. Kundalini awakening. That is uh, something that it's very much misunderstood. And monks and monasteries has uh, become something that has been corrupted. Uh, much like uh, Shaolin, the Shaolin way. As, uh, if, if you find, you know, the, the big fucking Shaolin monasteries, uh, the, the truth has been corrupted there. And this is part of uh, the reality that we live in, is the things that people have tried to hold on to and hold dear to with, with in regards to truth and purity, they have been uh, sought out and corrupted. And so our idea, our idea of monks is corrupted because the monks have been corrupted. And I'm not saying I'm better than anyone or anything or, or whatever. That's not what any of this is about. I'm just saying what I am becoming aware of, what I've been aware of for a long time, which is the corruption. 
and that whenever you leave the human form to do its thing, it's going to be, it's going to adapt and grow into something that is far beyond what you would even liken to a normal human being. There are, are already quite a few out here who can do all this crazy shit that, that you think is just for the monks in the monasteries. But in reality, what you think about whenever you, you think about monks and monasteries, they don't, they can't do that shit. Like, they don't do that shit. They're on a very certain frequency and operating system to where they get to a certain point, And then they have to go towards, they have to go to their masters or whoever is in charge and be reindoctrinated with what they experience. They're not allowed to decide for themselves what they experience. And, and if you think I'm wrong, and if you're a monk in a monastery, come at me. Tell me I'm wrong. And if I am that wrong, then let's, let's, uh, let's go up into the astrals and see what's what. And I would very much encourage this so that I can break your barriers that you have allowed upon yourself. So the natural state of the human form is meant to be in a way that we transform and transmute and can find balance within all of the, you can say, universal energies, all of the essential essences that were originally there before, and yes, before our creation. Because how the human form was created was with the inspiration of all the universal forces already there. And then a being came about and it created a connection. And then it created a creation for everything, everyone, all the essences and energies to learn from, and that is what we are. Things are supposed to learn from us, just as much as we learn from everything else. And yes, this is, you know, obviously strongly into creationism, uh, definitely not evolution, or scientism. And if you have an issue with, you know, those perspectives, I just encourage you to keep diving deeper, keep pushing your boundaries of your belief structures. And you're only going to be able to do that to a certain point with just your thought, with just contemplation. You have to engage, you have to engage yourself past the point of where you have been before. Test yourself. Test your resolve. Engage deeply. Dissolve your boundaries. Remind yourself of what you've always known deep inside. And once you get into that frequency on that level, so many things will come to you. You'll be drawn towards so many experiences, so many different forms and kinds of information and engagement, interactions. Because life, God, nature, 
the universe, the divine intellect, whatever you want to term it as, it wants you to, to wake up. It really does. It wants you to, to know yourself as, as itself, as the all that is, that is you. There's no separation. As things get crazier and crazier, it's also going to force people to become more and more hyper focused and hyper aware of what they truly want. And this is kind of like the uh, the backlash or the the result of all the all the machinations of the you could say dark forces, the things that want to pull our awareness down and keep us dumbed down and numbed up. All of their machinations are being turned in upon themselves. So ultimately, what's going to happen is a divine realization and a continuation of this. Don't believe me. Just bear witness to it. Lifetime after a lifetime, you'll bear witness to it. So yeah, that's enough for now. Stay true, stay strong in your knowingness of who you really are. Or why you're really here. Engage it. Feed that within you. <laughs>